Hi everyone, I'm Morgan Short, Director of Content and Web Strategy here at Vendavo. And we are at the Growth and Profitability Summit in Chicago, and I am here with Kevin Mitchell, President of Professional Pricing Society. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Morgan, and thanks so much to you and the Vendavo team for inviting me, and very thankful for the opportunity, and also thanks for your partnership. I appreciate that. Of course. We love having people from PPS here, especially if it's Kevin Mitchell, President of PPS. So thanks again. And I have a question for you. My first question is, what trends are you seeing in pricing right now? What's top of mind? There are a few things that are top of mind for us right now. Um, obviously, we're coming into a global macroeconomic situation where there's a lot of uncertainty out there. There's a lot of disruption out there. We're coming off of an inflationary period. Depending on your industry, your geography, you might see continued inflation. You might have an evening out of costs. You might have some things that are up and some things that are down. I've heard people use the term hybridflation because some things are crazy and some things are more settled. But really what this means is there's a lot of uncertainty where we really do not know what's going to happen from a global macroeconomic perspective. Also some other trends we are seeing is that a lot of people are adopting more of an omni-channel approach where they are selling through a lot of different methods that may be new to them. Obviously most people have gotten more heavily into e-commerce over the past X number of years and that presents extra complications if you've only done business through a dealer network or through store locations or through your salespeople. It adds a layer of complexity to all of your operations there which is another challenge. Some other challenges are around speed to market. Obviously we as consumers and even if you are a business, if you sell to business, if you're business to business, people want things yesterday or earlier. And so a lot of the challenges that we're seeing now is that people have the opportunity to do their shopping online, get information for themselves, but when they want answers, they want them now. When they want a deal or an offer from your company, they want it now. They want everything laid out and they want you to have all of the answers almost before they ask the questions. So really what we have are several different dimensions where things are just changing very, very rapidly. There is a bit of a blurring in a way between how people who deal with consumers and how people who deal with businesses are acting. Sometimes consumers have the ability to act like businesses and vice versa as far as personalization and some other methods there. But really what we're seeing is an increased focus on the customer, your offerings, your products and services, bringing those to the marketplace, how you're delivering that, and of course the price is often the very first marker of what you're out there offering. So a lot of new and interesting changes there. And so with these trends, so you mentioned hyperinflation, hybrid inflation, right. you mentioned speed to market, you mentioned omni-channel. Mm -hmm. How do these trends then go down to the pricing professional's role? Like what challenges did they have ahead? Really for the pricing professional themselves, what this means is they have the opportunity slash challenge to provide even more answers and to provide even more dimensions of knowledge for their company, for the marketplace, for their customers. And really, this will make the pricing professional hopefully more to the forefront, hopefully getting more attention from senior leadership because of their impact on the organization and what they can do for the organization. And really what this means for the pricing professional is with all of these extra elements, there should be increased focus on those individuals. Hopefully we're gonna see more tools and services for them, more training for them, more ways that they can capitalize on their knowledge and what they have to offer. But really with this increased focus, there's extra responsibilities, of course, and really it means this additional focus, hopefully pricing professionals who historically have been underappreciated, undertrained, underserviced, uh, undervalued, and lots more unders and things like that. Hopefully we are seeing some changes to that and they are getting the emphasis, the attention, the tools, the techniques, the strategies that they need in order to do their jobs better. Absolutely, and that's what we want at Vendavo as well, to focus on that on that pricer and make sure that they are supported in their roles. So um, one last question for you, of Kevin. 
just in general PPS, what are, what are you thinking about, what are you excited about as an organization this year and beyond? Really what we are excited about is we are expanding our offerings. Um, we have always enjoyed great partnerships with Fendavo and lots of other consulting companies, academics, people around the industry. But really what we're excited about is almost more probably through perspiration than inspiration. But if we go back to the last big shock to our system, the recession of 2008, 2009, depending on your industry and your geography there, is we had very large shifts in favor of lots of online pricing courses, lots of on online offerings to our people when people didn't travel. Obviously during the pandemic, that put us in a good position because people didn't travel again. But now we're in the great position, Morgan, where we not only have built up our online offerings over the years, but back to in-person events. So of course, very thankful to be here as well. So expanding our conference offerings, expanding our online offerings, expanding our training, our certification, our publications, looking at other geographies, industries that are new and that are just getting into pricing. So really there's a lot of growth around our part of the business world. Probably not enough yet, but more is coming. So really around PPS, we have a lot of excitement about what we can offer to the marketplace, expanding on our partnerships with yourselves and with other companies, and really being for, by, and about pricing, revenue management, sales enablement, people who are concerned with margins and profitability, really about serving that marketplace as good as we can. Absolutely, sounds just like our people. We've got the, we serve the same people. That's and uh, yeah, thank you so much for what you do at PPS. Thank you for being here at Growth and Profitability Summit. There really is nothing better than a handshake and being back in person. So thanks again, Kevin. You rock. Thanks for joining us. And uh, we'll talk soon. Absolutely. Thank you, Morgan. Appreciate that. Thank you, ma'am.